Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how you can create amazing looking MIS reports. A lot of people ask me how to create an MIS report and that we need to learn a lot of advanced formatting and functioning to create good looking MIS report. I say that is bullshit. Yes, mark my words, that is bullshit. This is a MIS report that I have created for you for the marks of student one for these respective subjects, maths, English, science, Hindi and history. And all these five charts are showing the same data in different way. MIS is nothing but visualization or visual representation of your data. You can use simple charts which are available to show your data and show it meaningfully. That's the point. You don't need some flashy looking charts. All you need to do is showcase your data so that the other person who is looking at it is able to understand. See, in this chart I have shown student one's marks in these subjects in a bar chart and I have formatted it to look like this. Now, this is also doing the same thing. The size of these boxes is correlating to the marks. History is 86. It has the biggest box. Then you have 74 for science. It has another very big box. See, similarly English, 70 marks. Over here, I have used a pie chart, which shows a breakup of the marks in percentages. Here, I have used a column chart with a different formatting and the way the marks are being shown over here. And this is a line chart. Isn't this looking good? So this is a MIS report. Let me show you how to create one yourself. You can go to even myelesson.org. That's my website and see such videos for free over there or even buy our courses. Now, I have the same data over here. I'm going to select this section. All right. I'm going to insert and the best thing to do is first of all go to recommended charts. It will show you the best charts that you could use. This is one chart I'm using. Okay. Okay. Bring it over here. Again, go to recommended charts. Go to insert. Go to recommended charts. Select the other one. I'm telling you Excel does the job for you automatically. Where did my other chart go? <laughs> Recommended charts and I get my column chart now. Here it is. I'll resize them later. I'll select this data again. Go to insert, go to recommended charts and choose the third one. Okay. All right. Now I'll click over here again. Go to insert and choose a line chart. My MIS report is ready. Now I'll select all these charts together by clicking on them and try to resize them together. See? I'll select all three again, these three, and I'll try to move them. See? I'll click out and then I'll be able to move every one of them individually. Ready, correct? Now all you need to do is click on the chart, go to this design section and start choosing the designs that you like the most. This one. I'll show you more formatting options. See? From here you get amazing looking charts. Now, once you have clicked in them, any of the charts, go to quick layout. And from here, select how you want your data to be shown. See? Like this. Then over here, go to quick layout. Choose a one that you like. This one. Similarly for this one, I'll go to quick layout. Isn't this cool? See, this is how very easily you can create MIS reports. I have created around 
20 videos on MIS reports. They are an intermediate and advanced level also. All right. Now, you don't need to know all that to create a MIS report. This is simple. This is good enough. This shows the data in a meaningful manner, isn't it? And in case you want to see advanced MIS videos, you can go to the links in the description or go to my website and see them. All right. Well, I hope you like this video and you learned how to create MIS reports. If you did, please click on the thumbs up sign and do subscribe to the channel so that whenever there is a new video out, you will get to know about it. And I will also like it when you subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.